When we use expressions of quantity like all of, some of, or most of together with a noun, we need to decide if the noun is singular or plural so we know what kind of verb we can use with it. In these examples, we're going to use the be verb for all of our sentences, and we need to decide in each case if the subject is singular or plural. Let's look at our examples. All of my friends in my class. We need to put a be verb here. Now, when we use a quantity expression like all of, we need to look at the noun, my friends, to see if it is singular or plural. In this case, my friends is plural. So we'll use the plural form of the be verb. All of my friends are in my class. Now let's look at our next example. Most of the book, funny. In the same way, we look at the noun in the subject. The book is singular, so we will use a singular form of the be verb. Most of the book is funny. The meaning here is that we are reading one book and most of it is funny, but there are some parts that maybe are serious or just not funny. Our next example is similar, but has a small difference. Most of the books, funny. In this case, the books is plural. So we will use the plural form of the verb. Most of the books, are funny. This means we are looking at a big group of many books and most of them are funny but some of the books are not funny. Now our last example has furniture. This is a non-count noun. Can you remember what we do with non-count nouns? Do they act like singular or plural? Hmm. Some of her furniture, dirty. Non-count nouns need singular verbs. We always use them with singular verbs. So we will say some of her furniture is dirty.